morning, Cindy Salcio, New Palace Realty. And today I am speaking with Joseph Diaz from Mr. Reuter Plumbing. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, how are you doing today? Great, and Joe, you're well aware that the housing market is moving briskly these days. People are getting ready to list their home and we have buyers doing home inspection. Tell me, Joe, what three items, what couple of items should they be looking or preparing? Other home. Um, well, first off, I'd like to start with saying that you want to look at your sewer line. Uh, reason being is because any sewer line that has cracks, offsets, um, root intrusion, um, that's going to be an issue that the buyer is may get skittish from. And so, if you have a preventative main, drain line done, meaning you're cleaning your line annually, then you should be okay. But if you haven't done it in a while, uh, recommend just having it checked out and cleaned. That way the line looks clean, safe, and you don't have any um, surprises when it comes time for your home inspections to sell. Uh, next thing being, uh, I would like to say you wanna check all your water lines uh, for your shutoffs. They're very important that your shutoffs work. Now, in a lot of the communities we have hard water, and if you don't have a hard water softener, uh, you're gonna, your shutoffs are not gonna work as good as they should be if you're not on your preventative maintenance on them. So meaning shutting them off every month, just twisting the knobs to make sure they're not getting frozen, um, making sure that when there is an accident or you need to change a faucet inside the house that you can shut the water off automatically. That's something that would also get red tagged by a home inspector general inspection. Um, next, just uh, have a licensed plumber go out and check all the plumbing. If you have a crawl space underneath the house, uh, it's good to make sure your gas lines are not corroded and possibly leaking. You don't have any drips from any old water galvanized lines or incorrect connections between galvanized and copper if you've had a repipe. Um, secondly, just making sure the drain lines are all straight underneath the house so that none of these things are flagged by the general inspector. Um, those are the three top things I would definitely recommend uh, whenever you're going to get ready to sell your house. And then if you always have any questions, you can always just call a contractor like ourselves, Mr. Ruta Plumbing, and ask, you know, what are the things that I also need to look, because some things are specific to the area from what you're selling. You know, here in um, LA, for example, we have a lot of houses that have race foundation. So those race foundation houses, we find that there's a lot of corrosion due to the gas lines. So that's one of the reasons I want to flag that. But also, older gas lines that are underneath slab foundations can also have issues too, because they're black steel uh, piping that corrodes over time. It has about a 30 to 40 year lifespan. So if you're in an area where you've had a lot of moisture collecting due to poor drainage around the house, that could also cause issues too. So you wanna be ahead of the game before you get into your inspections. So that way that you have the ball in your park when uh, the inspector flags something. Those are great tips and those are the top items that always come up, Joe. Mostly when you see that big, beautiful tree in the front yard, you better check that main line for those roots. Hey, thanks for your time. Those are great tips. Joseph Diaz, Mr. Ruder Plumbing, San Gabriel Valley, Temecula Valley, basically Southern California. Great tips, Joe, enjoy your day. Cindy Salcio, New Palace Realty, give us a call. We can answer some questions. We can refer you to a plumber if needed. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.